See, every day we throw things away. Little things, the stuff we don't care about, our trash out of sight and out of mind. But it doesn't just disappear. It slowly decomposes and starts producing methane. Now, when most people hear methane, they think of one thing. And yes, agriculture is a big part of the picture, but there's another massive source hiding in plain sight. Methane is a super pollutant, and globally, landfills are one of the largest human-caused sources. This is a huge piece of the puzzle we can actually solve pretty easily. At Anu, we're looking to find smart ways to build sustainable carbon projects that are good for business, reduce or remove emissions, and help the local community. Which really matters. Growing up doing lots of stuff outside with my family, camping, hunting, fishing, it really made me appreciate the outdoors. It's a real shame that we're losing more and more land just to store our trash and generating harmful emissions at the same time. It's an active emission source leaking potent methane into the environment. A lot of folks are concerned about the environmental impact from stormwater runoff, surface emissions from the landfill gas. It travels, it likes to follow paths of least resistance. If there's neighborhood nearby, can travel hundreds of yards and end up in someone's crawl space, which is a, is a serious explosion hazard. But what if you could intervene in that journey? What if you could take this hazardous byproduct and give it a second life? We have drilled wells throughout the waste mass. They're perforated straws. We have vertical wells and horizontal wells. We have this blower that creates vacuum and pulls that gas out. We send it through a chiller, which chills the gas and lets all the condensation fall out of it. And then we also have filters where we're filtering up the particulate matter. Once the landfill gas is processed, we primarily send it down a pipeline to an end user. If they're ever down, we flare that gas. So we're burning it on a candlestick flare. It's 24 seven, we're destroying that gas. So this facility pipes the gas directly to a local partner where it's converted to energy, creating carbon credits. Credits that can achieve some of the highest standards like CCP accreditation. Quality is integral in everything we do at ANU, and we're running several projects like this that can also be used to generate other forms of energy, like electricity for the grid, renewable natural gas, or even thermal energy. We're trying to simplify these complex environmental markets to ensure projects like this create both economic value and durable climate impact, so that the investment doesn't just fund the gas capture, it creates a powerful feedback loop so more projects can be developed and new initiatives can be executed. We try to promote recycling as much as possible. We want to try to prevent putting waste in landfills. At least we can try to benefit the environment as much as possible by extracting the landfill gas and uh, using it to offset other natural resources. By transforming this trash that no one cares about into something of value, we're giving this land a future and we're ensuring it doesn't just become a permanent monument to our waste. If businesses can make money doing the right thing, then to me, that's a win-win.